This video tip is part of an extensive series created by the Blue Ram Group for www.freshwatertropicalfishtanks.com and www.tropicalfishaquariumvideos.com to help aquarists understand the unique environment of their aquarium. In an earlier video, tip for what kills fish in new water, the municipal water can often contain a chemical that will kill fish as well as bacteria. In most municipal tap water supplies, the chemical of choice to make tap water safe is chlorine. This is a gas that is added to the water in the pipes and will actually dissipate in still water over time if the container is left open. Many old style aquarists will draw water from the tap and let it stand in a clean container for a day or so to allow the chlorine gas to naturally escape into the atmosphere. This can be a good way to ensure safe water for very small aquariums, where the storage of water in this method is not cumbersome. When an aquarium needs a larger number of gallons during its regular water change, or when evaporation is occurring in a significant amount, it is much more effective to use a commercial chlorine remover instead. There are a wide variety of preparations available. Some only offer the ability to neutralize all chlorine immediately. They are termed chlorine removers. Water conditioners offer a more complete formula to perform a variety of other important changes to the standard tap water and further benefit the fish as well. These make the water safer for fish in a number of other ways. These advanced products often have added chemical properties that work on other problems than chlorine as well. Many water conditioners will add a compound that coats the fish with an artificial slime coat that protects them from attack from, by parasites during the water change or if they're damaged by nets or other things. Some even have additives that safely reduce some of the stress for the fish as well. This feature is often a welcome relief to the fish in the aquarium after the rigors of cleaning and maintaining the aquarium and substrate, which can cause quite a bit of stress, while the cleaning tools invade their space and move around. Another common benefit is that good water conditioners also include the ability to detoxify and chelate heavy metal ions that can cause problems in the environment. These are often added by passing the water through copper or iron pipes or over other metal surfaces before the water reaches the tap. The chemical commonly used in both chlorine removers and water conditioners works instantaneously as soon as the product comes into contact with the chlorine. It is neutralized through a chemical reaction and drops to the bottom as a harmless white precipitate. We cannot recommend strongly enough that the neutralization of chlorine is always occurs before the new water is added to the aquarium. The actual process is discussed in tip 7, safely remove chlorine from tropical fish water. This video tip is part of our ongoing Blue Ram Group project. As a video becomes available, each will be mounted within the FAQ section of the websites. If we haven't answered your personal question quite yet, you can get your particular aquarium-related questions answered for free by our experts by filling out the Ask a Question form at the FreshwaterTropicalFishTanks.com website. If you want to be notified as soon as each new video is made public, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and be the first to know each time a new video is added to the Blue Ram channel at http colon forward slash forward slash www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Blue Ram 86.